pushy. Mm -hmm. I put this here. Open. I open. Remember, you can touch mm -hmm. this side. The side that you want to really make sure that you don't touch is the place with the catheter. You can touch the bottom side. Okay. okay. So grab this from this side here. Okay. You can grab the ends. Okay. Not that. Don't touch that. That's sterile. No, no. I this. Okay. Okay. This is going to go underneath the patient's hips. So the areas that you can touch, it's always shiny side down. Shiny side down. Is that shiny? Is that shiny? Kind of shiny. Grab that one. With the touch. Okay. Here, touch the end. Mm -hmm. And you're going on the stomach. Okay. No, that goes shiny side down. Right. Okay, that's pretty good. You can do it. <laughs> I'm trying. Okay, good. Now we want to go ahead and put our gloves on. I open right here. Thank you. I open. The outside's okay. You can touch the mm -hmm. outside. Now make sure you use the mm -hmm. cuff part that you don't go to the inside. Okay. <coughs> but can you put clothes on, on on the table? Like can you just move it to the table and put it on there? If you, turn your back if, on the sterile, okay. if you want, you can do your gloves there. Mm -hmm. Okay, now what are you gonna do next? What I would do next is I would lift this out mm -hmm. and place it right there. Okay. Lift the plastic out and place it a little closer. Drop it right there. Mm -hmm. Your hands are sterile, right? Yes. So now there's a couple <laughs> things that you need to do. You need to open. Your both hands are sterile, so you're still good. And now you just contaminate. You just I know. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, whoa. Great assistance. You need to open up that. <laughs> Make sure just if you need on. to roll up your sleeves, make sure your sleeves are rolled up so okay. nothing touches that. <laughs> just open it all the way and just place it on your tray. Just place the whole thing. Everything's sterile. Just, okay. just drop it on your tray. Okay. All right. Next, you're going to do is you're going to open up your lubricant. And you're going to squeeze some out on part of the plastic. Right here. Mm -hmm. Squeeze. Okay. Okay. Some of the kits, they have a another tube with a lubricant in it. And I believe it has a green. Mm -hmm. It has a green casing to it. So that's your lubricant. Okay. Now next thing you do is you need to grab your syringe. Mm -hmm. Your syringe has 10 cc's in it. Take the cap, cap off. Okay. And you can throw it here. Or there, that's fine. Okay. okay. So now you need to um, test your balloon. I told you the ones that we normally have are the ones that screw on so they don't come off. You can go ahead and try to test it. Sometimes it does squirted back at me, but go ahead. You're testing the balloon. Mm -hmm. Okay, let go. Let it come back. Good enough. Let it come back. Okay. okay. Now you need to take off this. Uh, mm -hmm. Plastic. You have to take the plastic off. Okay. Okay, let's stop right there.
No, I this is normally what I do. Let me show you what I normally do, okay? okay. <laughs> My hands are still. I haven't touched anything. Mm -hmm. I take this out, out of the box. I hold it close. I'm sterile. I check my balloon, good enough. Mm -hmm. I pull back, I'm still sterile. Take off my, I'm still sterile on both hands. I carefully take it off this way, put it into my lubricant. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. And make sure that this does not go on the outside of the sterile field. Mm -hmm. That's most important. Okay. That's okay. Next, what you need to do is now you always think okay. clean hand, dirty hand, clean hand, dirty hand. Now you need to clean with your dirty hand. This is your dirty hand. Mm -hmm. So, okay. uh, grab his penis. Yes, I'm, and I'm cleaning this. this yes, you're going to take <laughs> <laughs> like 90 degrees up. Okay. Degrees. Circle oh. in like this. Around. And then to the outer. From here. Okay, the you okay. can discard it. Mm -hmm. I can. Yeah, here, there. there yeah. Huh. This is dirty, so I would throw okay. it here. Okay. And I'm doing this three times. Three times. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> you don't need to do it a third time. Okay. That's yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. So what I want to show you what I Sorry. normally do now. I'm here. I'm holding, mm -hmm. and now I need to put this in. But I don't want to let go of this because if I let go of this, it's going to become contaminated. So normally, what I do is I grab it like twice. This is sterile. You almost like hold it like this. You don't want to really yeah, wrap it too much. The box is not. Because then, when you put it in, mm -hmm. you don't want your catheter going all over the place. Insert. Normally we insert until we see um, urine flow back, and once urine is coming back, then we inflate <coughs> our balloon. It's already in. Make sure that you hold and you take this off right away or else see it's going back in. Take it off. Tug back slowly until there's resistance, and then you're done. So let me go ahead. So at that point, it was okay for you to use your dirty hand to hold it? I'm no longer inserting into it. Okay. Do I need so to fix it, it okay. now to the lid? No, because when you're doing peri care, mm -hmm. when you're cleaning the urinary meatus, once the catheters are ready, it's the insertion of the catheter into the bladder that needs to be sterile. So when you're originally putting this in, you don't want to contaminate the area that's in the bladder. But when you do peri care in the hospital, you clean the urinary meatus with regular gloves and soap and water. Mm -hmm. It's just inserting it so that we're not introducing microorganisms into the bladder. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and try that. You just want to make sure that when you're taking it off that this isn't flying around or hitting a non-sterile because that will fail you. Okay. So okay. go ahead and practice with that. Okay. And we're not doing all of the securing it to their leg. In the yeah, and and what you're going to do is you won't secure the leg because we don't have the, um, the device to the leg. But once she puts it in there, um, I'll show you how to secure it to the bed, and then it'll hang <coughs> over here. Do you want to stop this up on what step? Um, you can just go ahead and insert. Okay. Take it from the box, just so that it's not flinging around. Okay. Okay. And once you um, are comfortable in the hospital inserting Foley catheters, it takes no time at all. It's just a matter of making sure you know which hand is clean, which hand is dirty. And it just becomes like you don't even think about it, which is clean and how to get your catheter and getting it in mm -hmm. without. But you can put that tubing in that here. So this is all zero, zero, so you can just kind of. <laughs> That's why I work right here. I don't work here because you be I have to move from here yeah. to move here. This way, I put everything here. Um, but then it takes some effort sometimes because I ha may have to clean the patient's room because sometimes the patients' room are a mess. Their, their bed is a mess. I may have to take linen off, so I create a nice clean area that I'm working on over here. Okay. And then sometimes you have to work fast because they start kicking their feet and start moving around, so it's like boom, 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 it's in. Okay, go ahead and put it in. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm um, cleaning 
three times with a yep. polydon iodine. One, two, mm -hmm. yeah. go. And I normally don't throw in here, just so I don't contaminate, but if you're spending years in the hospital and you know you're going to throw here and you're not going to touch that, it's okay. After that I'm taking my potato, it's already lubricated, mm -hmm. and then just go in over there. And See why you, you, this is, what ends up happening is your, um, your syringe creates some weight on your catheter and could mm -hmm. have your catheter fall. So this whole area could be contaminated. That's why I like to hold it closer. So like what you wrapped it around? Uh, not really wrap you around. When you, you start practicing, Twice. when you start practicing, if you start wrapping around, you're one hand now, you're not going to be able to unwrap it. But Does if you just like kind of do like. Like she's doing right now, that's okay. Just doubled it? Yeah, I pretty much just kind of like double it mm -hmm. so I have greater control. Do you see how it goes in better and it's not flipping all around? That's much better. And after that, I go ahead to inflate, inflate mm -hmm. my water. The whole thing. Mm -hmm. These lure locks are a little difficult because they're not screw ons. Yeah, so you have to kind of support with your other hand now mm -hmm. the green. You can touch here or touch there okay. with your um, dirty hand. No. Dirty oh, hand. Dirty. Because okay. you're just taking it off now. It's already. Like See ah. if you don't if you let it go, that's mm -hmm. what happens. Okay. Push it in again. Okay. And you hold here and you with that hand now unscrew it or pull it off. Take it off. The syringe? Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Now but you're done. And there's now no let top it go. Or mm -hmm. okay. Now um pull the catheter back. Okay. Keep on going until you feel resistance. Yeah, now. Okay, mm -hmm. so now you, you're done. Yes. You can throw that in here, throw your syringe wherever you want because okay. your sterile technique mm -hmm. is completely over. So now you're going to tell me I would go ahead and attach this to the I patient's leg. I need to leg. attach this to the patient's leg. Okay. Uh, this is a clip. Mm -hmm. it's uh, I just clip it onto the sheet. Onto the sheet. Okay. Now normally when you're using, um, mm -hmm. it's called a stat lock. Yeah. I don't think we have any here. Yeah. Well, I, I, I do this. And I put everything here and I just throw everything out. Mm -hmm. But when you're attaching, you normally would attach um, so that there's a little bit of slack. Mm -hmm. A little bit of slack. But the lower lock actually kind of goes like this mm -hmm. so that it, it lays it like this. And you actually put like um, benzoin, that ointment that dries, mm -hmm. that, that little sticky <laughs> ointment. You put that on first and then you put your stat lock and then you put your catheter here attached here and then this doesn't go on the floor. Yeah. Some of these have little hooks, mm -hmm. some of them have strings. I'm not sure which one you have. So you can use this or you can use here. Do you wash off the iodine? Yeah, right? Mm -mm. No? Mm -mm. That like yeah. Right, Professor Cooper, you never wash off the iodine that you no. clean the area with. No. It just stays. Yes. Okay. That's it. You want to cover okay. the patient, you want to put your supplies. Yeah.